Ariel Hawani in Sydney, Australia, getting set for UFC 127 alongside George Sotaropoulos, who faces Dennis Seaver this Saturday night live on pay-per-view. And George, good to see you again. Obviously, uh, a very big fight for you the last time you fought here at UFC 110. It was sort of the, the moment where you, you, know, you became a star in the UFC and everyone started to give you the respect that you believed you deserved. This time, a little different, you're the overwhelming favorite. Everyone is talking about you, the attention is all on you. Does it feel any different? Um, not really, it's the same, just it's you know, a different fight, um, same location, you know, but it's um, the same approach every time. And um, you know, I approach it the same way, I feel the, way I, the same way I do before any fight, no matter who it is or where it is. You have to sort of carry a lot of the, the media stuff, obligations, things like that. Do you like doing that? Um, I think it's just part of the job and, you know, and I accept it as a, 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 it's a given responsibility. I remember after UFC 123, after you beat Joe Lozon, and they announced at the press conference that you were fighting Dennis Seaver here. You wanted to fight here, and you said you don't care who you're fighting, you just want to be on this card. A lot of people were actually a little surprised when they offered you Dennis Seaver. They thought that you were a little higher ranked than he was. Were you surprised? Um, well, I'm glad you think. <laughs> I'm glad you think so. But um, no, I think Dennis uh, is definitely a worthy opponent. He deserves to be where he's at. He's earned his spot and his place in, um, in the UFC. And um, and everybody's everybody um, is a threat, and everybody you know must be respected. He says, and maybe surprising considering his background, but not considering what he's done as of late, that he's going to submit you. Is that is that sort of you know raise a little you know fire under you that you're actually gonna tell him that you know you're not really gonna submit me you know you better watch what you say antics yeah antics, antics. yes that was the word I was looking for <laughs> antics <laughs> what do you think of him saying that is he just trying to play games with you um yeah I think he's playing games are you expecting him to try to take this fight to the ground um, I'm expecting everything that's it. I'm expecting, look, I'm expecting the fight to be fought everywhere. I'm expecting stand-up, wrestling, and grappling. It is mixed martial arts, and the fight will be fought everywhere. I know you don't like answering these questions, but it's almost inevitable at this point because of your place in the division, what you've done. If you win this fight, you'll be 8-0 and in the UFC. Um, it's, it's a tough spot for you considering the fact that you know Edgar and Maynard are fighting again for the title. Showtime Pettis, if he wins, he's probably going to get the next shot. Even if you do win this fight, you still have to probably wait a very long time. Is that frustrating? Look, 8-0 sounds great, 10-0 sounds better. And, um, you know, I'm a patient guy. And I've got a long-term view on this sport and what I'm doing. And, um, you know, I'll earn my spot, I'll earn my keep, and um, I'm happy to keep continue doing what I need to do to, to get that belt. Perhaps you say 8-0 and o sounds great, 10-0 and o better, you win a couple more fights, main event here next February for the title. Is that sort of the plan? Um, whatever, it, whatever it takes. It's, yeah, there is no plan. It's just, you know, basically I'll keep doing what I'm doing and um, the rest will take care of itself. Where's home for you right now? Um, <laughs> home is in the, in the cage for me right now and um, my life revolves around that. So you don't have a specific city that you live in? Oh, I actually live in Vancouver, Washington. That's, that's where my right. home is right now. And, but when you fight here in Australia, do you come here a little, you know, maybe uh, the, the typical fight you come a week out, do you come here maybe two or three weeks out because you're from here? No, I'm just following the, the set schedule and um, that's all I need to do. Has it been fun this time around that you don't have to answer the questions about your gear? The last couple fights you've always had to sort of defend yourself. Dennis this time not going that route. Um, you know what, they're just all questions. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just giving answers, so it's yeah, not. You don't a really seem to. Let's be honest. You don't really feel like you're. You're not feeling this interview right now, right? Uh, no, I feel all the interviews. I'm just. I'm just. I'm doing what I need to do. You know. Right. So, Part of the gig until it's, you get to Sunday. Of course. Right. And Eddie Bravo, will he be in your corner in this fight? It'll, it's the same corner. It's the same team. The same people. The same fighters, except Dennis. And um, you know, and this is this is the team, and this is um, we're doing the same thing, man. Final question, um, the, the part of this country that you are from, down south, uh, it's, MMA is still illegal there, right? It's, it's um, no, no, there's a, there's a technicality. Okay. Uh, the fights can happen in a boxing ring, but not in a cage. So it's, it's a slight, what would you call it, like a... Technicality. A technicality, so... Why is that? Um, I just had the same misconception. People still don't understand. Uh, maybe that maybe the pol politicians don't understand the, you know, maybe the cage scares them. I don't know. Um, I haven't asked them those questions. Does that surprise you that in 2011 there's still those issues? It, it is 2011. Man walked on the moon 50 years ago. <laughs> I think these sorts of things do happen. Um, people need to, you know, read some books. You know, get online, do some research, and um, you know, and understand that this is a this is a safe, regulated, professional sport. Will you do anything to try to educate these people? 
about the sport? I'll gladly uh, offer some insight if if, uh, if there are questions thrown my way. But they haven't asked you. The UFC hasn't asked you to to help out. Um, no. Well, there was a there was a time when that they were uh, looking to. I uh, utilize my services, but um, then there were some changes in, in the government, and, um, and I haven't heard anything since. All right. Well, we look forward to this Saturday night live on pay-per-view. George Sotiropoulos goes up against Dennis Seaver, a very important fight in the UFC lightweight division. Thank you for the time, George. Thank you, man.